Hey guys, welcome back. My name is W567, I'm from the Minecraft list. And today guys, we're continuing our Sims on a budget. Been really excited to get back to this. Honestly, I have. I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I mean, this is already going really, really well. So I think we should just get straight into it. Now, if you haven't seen the last episodes, I highly recommend you watch them because you will have no idea what is happening here. But basically, um, we have a we have two adults in the house, a mum and dad, and their little toddler. Um, we have Harold, uh, Ella, and Brienne. I think I named the toddler. Brienne, yeah. Uh, basically, what we've been doing for the past couple of episodes is we have been building their house, which we have finally done. Now, I know there looks like there's no roof, but actually there is, because if we go into build mode, the house, the roof and everything is still here. So, um, <laughs> the roof is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with the roof, apparently, even though there's no roof on my house. But, um... We are actually going to be starting this, but keep in mind, we only have 74 simoleons after using our 20,000 budget on building the house, only the house. So there's no rule saying that the Sims can't get a job and oh, they're going to need a job to be able to afford food for the toddler and themselves. So what I was thinking is, I mean, I'm not really going to think too much about this. I'm just going to send Harold off to work. Um, I think, I think that's fine. Um... And we'll do some of the um, higher paying jobs um, just so their income can come in. Also, it depends on what Harold likes. So before I'm going to send him off to work, I'm going to get him to get a couple of his, I guess, activities up and see what he likes. I have put him down as a master chef. So we, we, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I might put him in for the chef job and see what happens. If he's not happy, he can change career. But I'm going to stick with the kind of whole chef's thing at the minute, seeing as that what that's what I've put him down to liking. And, um, I mean, we can send the mum off to work later on, I think, when the toddler grows up a little bit and can take care of themselves. Doesn't need an adult in the house with them. And then she could probably get a painter's job. I think that would be quite nice as well. Or, again, just any kind of hobby that she's into, she can get a job for. So, um, I think that is fine. And then we're just going to click play and we're going to start this. So I'm immediately going to get Harold to take the toddler inside. I'm also going to get the mum to go inside. And let's have a look at their <clears throat> stats. So their fun has been <laughs> kind of wasting away as I've been standing here with them. Um, so first thing we're going to do, I think we're going to get all of their stats up. <laughs> stats up. So I'm going to get her to watch some TV. And for Harold, I don't know. Uh, you can look at the toddler stats. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, I'm going to get Harold to take Brienne to her new room. I'm going to um, I'm gonna let him put her down there. And I'm going to let her explore her new room, get to know with her environment. I mean, I think the house is pretty nice. <laughs> Hopefully she'll like it. Um, I mean, there's not really much she can do in there except for play with her toys and stuff like that. So I'm going to... Not bad pet. Oh, why is she angry? How dare you put me down? Okay, so she wants to be picked back up. That's absolutely fine. Uh, wow, wait, wait, pick, her up, pick her up, pick her up. Don't leave her. D don't just leave her there. Don't just leave her there. She's not happy that you've put her down. You're just going to leave her there. <laughs> you can't leave her there. I mean, we can always... Um, he can sit here, I guess, and watch the TV while carrying Brienne. Um, so he can bring her downstairs. Um, okay, so she's happy again now that she's been picked up. <laughs> what is her lowest stat? Her lowest stat is bladder, but she they use their diapers at this stage. Um, what is she? A clock with laser vision or lasers on it. I don't know why she's just stood up, turned the TV off and is just staring at Harold who's holding Brienne. Where is she going? Where is she going? Polished to perfection. Brianne is a sunny infant. These infants are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other sims, but they do require more social attention. That explains why she didn't want to be put down. Hold on. It says she was going to polish it to perfection. She went over, wiped it over with a sponge, and then just left it. <laughs> and now she's decided she wants to read a children's book. I mean, that's fine. 
I mean, she's only browsing. Seriously? She doesn't know what to do with herself. She's just gone upstairs, picked out a book, went, hmm, quite a nice book, could just put it back. She didn't actually read it. Okay. Um, I think, first things first, we should get them to clean each side of bed. I'm not really... I'm not preferenced on who sleeps where. I'm just going to click. He can have the right side. She can have the left side. I'm not bothered. Okay, so what's he doing with her? He's talking to her. Okay. Well, I hate to break it to you, Harold. I know she really wants to, you know, have some fun. But she does kind of need to be put down here. I mean, she needs to explore her ha her room as well. She likes having love, so that's fine. Um... Her hunger is going down. That's not brilliant. It'll be okay for the minute. I mean, she's a sunshine sim, so she will be fine, I guess, eventually with being put down. I just hope that he doesn't have to carry her everywhere while she's a toddler. Don't get mad. Don't you dare get mad. Okay, so he's leaving. Coo. Coo at him. Okay, where's what's he doing? He's listening to her. Okay, so he's talking to her from his room. And she's talking to him from her room. Where is he going? Okay, so what's he doing? He apparently is talking to her. He's not really talking to her, though. Because he's gone downstairs to chat with his... With his... With his... The, with her wife. No, with his wife. <laughs> Goof around with Ella. You're not goofing around with her. You're talking to your wife. Well, actually, they're not actually husband and wife yet. We should probably fix that. Now, I know there is a way that you can already, you know, kind of make them married to each other. But I don't know how to do that personally. So we've got to try and work on getting their kind of love meter up. So I guess <laughs> just share baby. I mean, I don't know why he's like share baby photos because it's your child. But I guess they don't. They think it's just this. Do they think that this is just a child that they found? Is that what they think this is? Because if that is, it's really not. Um, tell her a joke about... Okay, so she's talking. Uh, what a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Ella feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace her astonishingly sculptured arms that she likes fitness? Sure, she can like fitness. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Harold, why don't you tell her a joke or something? Um, oh, what did you say that made her so mad? What did you say? I leave you for one second and you make her mad. Um, don't gossip. Um, interest. Discuss your interests. Discussing interests is always working. Okay, so she's sad already. What's happening here? Infants require regular naps. Brienne has been awake for too long and is starting to get cranky. Better put her to bed. I mean, she's not even that tired, but fine. Uh, let's get her to spend some time with the mum now. Why is he tense? <laughs> Cheered to death. What? This is must be new. Cheeriness can often be contagious, but sometimes can also be painfully granting. Uh, grating, sorry. He doesn't like listening to cheerful sims, and she is always cheerful. Right, uh, right, you need to comfort Brienne and put her to bed. Oh, bless her, she's crying, she's so sad. Hurry up, where's Harold going? He's che oh, he's checking on her. What good dad. He's coming in to check up, he's like, what, what, what do you want? You just, oh my god. You just headbutt your child. Oh, yeah, have a great time. It wasn't your fault. She she was like, woof, and just like made her punch him in the face. No wonder you're tense, buddy. Put it to bed, please. Put it to bed. <laughs> Thank you. Can I look over the top of them? No. Why? She's so sad. Is anyone there? Brienne wonders if anyone is actually listening. Her cries have gone completely unanswered. But she's right there with you. Okay, so that didn't work. You put your toddler to bed, but she's not asleep. You need to kiss her goodnight. You put her in the crib and walked off. You know, I'm starting to sense that maybe Harold is doing a bit better than this. At this. And then Ella. Ella doesn't really know what to do. 
Oh, he's feeling flirty. Okay. Well, this might actually be a good opportunity for him to talk to Ella and see if they can get their relationship status back up. There you go. She's she's gone to bed now. You don't. It's too late. You took too long. She's gone to bed. Who are these thought bubbles? Who's thinking over it? Who's thinking over here? Is it you? Oh, you look very depressed. Who are you? Hello? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, she's talking to him. Okay. She's going to chat with Harold. Maybe you should make a move, Harold. I mean, you are supposed to be husband and wife. Even though you don't think you are, you are going to be, I hope. I mean, discuss your interests. You're... You <laughs> Even though they're consistently chatting, their relationship meter is not that high at all. Um, I'm going to be constantly checking on Brienne because she is the toddler. She's happy now. But she is hungry. So they've only got 74 simoleons to work with. They haven't used any of it yet. But I think they... Why are you thinking about aeroplanes outside my house, sir? Who are you? Ro Rohan? 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 Rohan. Rohan? Rohan. Rohan. Rohan, excuse me, sir. Rohan. What's your last name? Elderberry. Rohan Elderberry. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. Make a move, Harold. Make a move. Sure, kiss her hands. She might like that. I don't know. Will she like that? <laughs> Okay, she took it. She was fine with it. Okay. Okay, now now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Right, we need... Their relationship meter is so low. We need to get them to have some small talk. Um, Check in on her. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. They're, they're getting someone with the love meter already. Too early to tell, but there could be something there. Okay. Well, that's what we want. That's what we want. Give her a hug. Oh, that's sweet. Give her a hug. Confess attraction. You don't even know her that much. Well, apparently. Okay. Right. Why don't you... Why don't you do something nice rather than gossip all the time? Why don't you... Discuss some more interests. You need to find out what she likes, please. I mean, you live in the same house. I <laughs> don't... Okay, so you like fishing, apparently. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Ella said that? Oh, no, he said that to Ella. Okay, so he does like her. That's good. What's that? Make new friend. You think you're just friends? You're supposed to be husband and wife. You're not just friends. And how did you identify a type of fish? You haven't even been fishing. She told you that? She hasn't been fishing either. You guys have never been fishing. How do you know about fish? You identified fish that you haven't even caught. You never caught them. I don't know. How long have these got? Here, offer her a rose. Make her happy. Discuss interests. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, they're really hitting it off. Okay, they really like it. They're really happy. That's good. That's good. Tell her a joke. Sure. First kiss already? It says it's too early to tell. I thought you guys didn't like each other that much. You think you're just friends. You think you're just friends. You got, I mean, go for it. I, I can't really tell them what to do. Go for it. Okay, I'm going to go check on the baby. No, I'm in that queue. The baby's still asleep. And she's starving. Instead... <laughs> I go upstairs to check on the baby. I come back down and he's doing push-ups. What is she doing? Why do you like polishing things so much? What did I? What characteristics did I give you? I've forgotten what characteristics I've given you. I want to know your characteristics. Why are you on our home? Leave. Thank you. Oh, she's neat. She likes to be. She likes to be tidy. That's why. 
Oh, she's up. The toddler's up. Mm -hmm. She's mad. She needs help. She feels abandoned. And she's hungry. Right. Right. You use your diaper for yourself because you need to go to the loo. That's fine. Um, right. Change her diaper, please. Ew. And then... Oh, he's bottle feeding her first. Okay. Is your hunger going up? Is it working? It is working. Okay. Awake and happy. She loves being held. And, and we, we, we know that. And she's cooking. Do you know how to cook? You like rolling pins. Something people generally like, I guess. I ain't eating that. If you're serving that to me... What are you making? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I swear she just put a piece of bread into another pan and now is making some sort of scrambled eggs. Eggs and toast. I swear you put the toast and made the toast into eggs. Hold on, replay that. Yeah, see? I definitely think that's what she did. Granted, they do look good. Right. You need to... Does Brienne need food? No, she's perfectly fine how she is right now. Oh, she's trying to get to a ducky. Where did you take her? To the bathroom? Okay, well, he's going to the loo. You probably want to go downstairs, Harold, and you're going to want to uh, grab some... Ella, Ella, you made food for yourself? Ella, Ella, la, 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 you made, oh my god, she made food just for herself. I'm honestly a little bit sad for you, Harold. I'm so sorry. And she's going to go and wash it upstairs. What's up with the toddler? What's she doing, Brienne? She's perfectly happy with her little ducky. All right, who threw the dirty nappy on the floor and didn't clean it up? That's probably Harold, wasn't he? Put it in the... In Why would you want to put it in the inventory? Throw it away. We don't have a trash can. Didn't think about that. They have used, actually, a little bit of their funding. So we've got to get food soon. We need a trash can. The cheapest one we can sure we'll get a children's waste basket 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 there you go we'll put that there so he can have access to it right throw it away do not have that sitting in her room well she's gonna play with her ducky that's fine ella where are you going Um, Harold, you're still hungry, Harold? Did you? No, Harold! Harold! Harold, stop! You've left, you, you've left, you're gonna start a fire, Harold! Harold! Cook, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna make it, you're gonna set the house on fire! You're gonna set the house on fire! Where are you going? To browse the books again? I guarantee you, she will pick up the book, look at the book, and put that book down again. Right. Picks up the book. Looks through it. Hmm. Okay. She's... There you go. Closed it. Is that it? Okay. She's opened it again. Reading. Okay. That's what we like to see. We like to see a little bit of knowledge. Not, okay, closed it again and gone. You read three pages. Not even, Ella. You're not doing very well here. Right, why don't you go and talk to Harold and get your meter up a bit? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I mean, you can talk with the, with the toddler as well. 
Okay, so her energy's low. You're going to have to put her to bed now because she is exhausted. She's tired and wants to go to sleep. And you haven't put her to sleep, so she can't go to sleep. Uh, you better put her to bed now. Oh my gosh, there's a train! I just saw it go by. I didn't know there were trains in this game. Ooh. Ooh. Why is she rolling around on the floor? Oh! Harold, what are you doing? That's a romantic sign. Flirt, you want to... I told you to put the toddler to bed. The toddler is literally... You watched her to start crying. You watched her start crying. Harold, put your child to bed. Stop chatting with Ella. I know I need to get your meter up. But I know you have to be friends and be husband, wife. But your child is also... Cr She's fallen asleep on the floor. Harold. She's fallen asleep on the floor. I'm on... I'm honestly, stars. I'm honestly like c so confused. No, put her to bed. Put her to bed, okay? Just put her to bed. Hang on. Ask Carol to be boyfriend. You want to do that now? Okay. okay. I mean, it gets us. I don't know. Um, affection. Um, no. Which one says you want? Uh. I know they're single. I know they're single because I created them. Ask if you're single. Maybe that will trigger the ask to be boyfriend thing. Harold, please comfort your child. Soothe her to sleep, Harold. Please talk to your child. She's crying. Please comfort your child. No. Ask him if he's single. Go on. You didn't even read that again. Why are you going out there? Okay, she's asleep. Good. Do you have to talk in her room though? Why are people on my floor outside? Was someone flying? Oh no, he's on a bike. He's single. I know he's single. I know he's single. That's why I uh, uh, That's why... That's why your husband and wife. How have you identified a new type of fish? You guys haven't been fishing. You guys have never been fishing in your life. Never in your life. Okay, so they're, they are getting good here. Um, compliment her appearance. Maybe your love meter needs to be high before you can do that. You're not even friends with her yet? Where are you going? You're going to take a nap. She's going to polish that to perfection. Well, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to have to end it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do a big fat thumbs up. I but entirely appreciate it and if this is the first video you've seen by me please consider subscribing to join my team i'd really appreciate it um this is just the start this is just the start of this series we are gonna have so much more fun and next episode we will be getting harold a job uh well any of ella or harold a job and we will be figuring out how to um get um brianne to become a, a kid and work her way up and uh yeah that's pretty much all i need to say but thank you so much guys for following me this far on the series this so much um thank you so much for following me on the series so far i really hope you enjoyed it and um yeah other than that i guess i will see you guys later bye